For at TV, the world is thinking. I don't want to give away the, the, my, my wrenching description. I will tell you just this that was interesting is that I came to Star Trek. I didn't know anything about it. It was about the guy with pointy ears. And I, when I would see that on the thing, I would just, you know, keep going. When I was, I never, I never watched it. There was, I had a friend at, at Iowa who was a grad student who used to drop acid every day when it came on in the afternoon. <laughs> he did for 54 days, at the end of which time his wife left him. And I just didn't, underst I didn't understand what it was. On the day we filmed that scene, and Henry James said, very important, he said, life is hot, but art is cool. If you are the puppeteer, you must stay behind, dry-eyed, and make sure that the strings do not get tangled. You cannot be out front sobbing at the performance. I am the manipulator. Art is manipulation. The good thing is if you don't realize you're being manipulated, then, then, we, then you're sucked into the experience. So I came to this very much as a neophyte and as a stranger. And I related to it the way I can. I found my way in, which is in the book how to sort of make it my own thing. But I was not a participant in the history and the tradition and stuff. So when we're filming it, I turn around and I'm looking at my cinematographer, Gain Rescher, and he's got tears streaming down his face. And then I'm looking around <laughs> at the rest of the crew and everybody is crying except Mrs. Meyer's oldest. And I'm thinking, what am I missing here? <laughs> well, I was missing everything. I was missing everything. And it isn't until, you know, many, many years later that I was able to sit there and sort of understand why this was meaningful and and then it became meaningful to me